Endlessly is the favorite here as Triple Espresso to the outside. He boxed it his first attempt. Now he's in. We're ready for the feature. And there they go in the Jeff Ruby stakes. And lucky Jeremy begins quickly from the inside. West Saratoga shows pace. Northern Flame is also amongst the early action. Sees the gray outside of Otello. Noted much closer than anticipated. He's only three lengths off the lead. Here's the favorite endlessly. Six or seven off the pace heading into the first turn. From the inside is Woodcourt. Towards the tail of the field races Triple Espresso and Longshot Dancing Group is the last of all and it's Lucky Jeremy making the pace a length to Northern Flame and a good spot from the outside. Noted is into the race early. Look at Noted only two lengths from the front. Sees the gray in West Saratoga from the far outside. Otello is three lengths off the lead. Boy, they are very bunched up. Endlessly has a little more than four and a half to find. He's about a neck in front of Woodcourt. Then we're going to triple espresso six lengths from the front. Dancing groom is towards the tail of the field. A very compact group. 23 and one fifth, 48 and two fifths. Up the back stretch in the Jeff Ruby. Lucky Jeremy hounded by Northern Flame. West Saratoga with his wide journey. Noted continues to save ground, ask for a little run. Sees the gray is launching his charge. He's four wide at the quarter pole, getting within two. And here comes Endlessly. Endlessly is really closing in strongly. He's all dressed up in Sunday's best. He swings one from the outside. A ton of momentum at the top of the lane for Endlessly. And here he comes with his run. Endlessly makes his move at the eighth pole. And he has come away with the lead. Endlessly storming home. And look at him. Endlessly is free and focused in the Jeff Ruby. And he's a powerful winner. West Saratoga, I think, hangs on for second. Sees the gray is there. Triple Espresso was really closing in. Then Woodcourt and Lucky Jeremy. How about Endlessly, a good-looking winner of the Jeff Ruby? How about that? Good, maybe great. What a performance by Endlessly. Well prepped by trainer Michael McCarthy. The horse ran outstanding, and Umberto Rispoli gave him a great ride from the 10 post. He got to the two path in the first turn. By his time, made that bold move, really in it like the two path on the final turn, went no place to go, but knew that when he got to that point, he could push his way out, which he did. He's got spun four wide turning from home, but and from here on, oh. it's all just the horse endlessly. He is just cruising away from this field. We were watching going into the second turn, saying to ourselves, "Well, they better get going. Uh, he's not. He's not going anywhere About that yet." Time. And yeah, and then whoosh, just all of a sudden with that big move, and now. The big question comes down to what do they do with him next? The owners, John and Jerry Ammerman. Jerry's his wife. They've been around for a long time. They've had a lot of really good horses, but they've never had a horse in the Kentucky Derby. And trainer Michael McCarthy told us, you know, he thinks this horse is a better turf or synthetic horse than a dirt horse. So he didn't sound like he was going to be all in on going to the Kentucky Derby, even if he won. But he was so impressive that you have to wonder if the Ammermans are going to want to take a chance here. He's not bred to run on dirt. He's by Oscar Performance, who they also raced, the Ammermans. Um, he hasn't trained exceptionally well on dirt when McCarthy is, because he trains on dirt at Santa Anita. Uh, that's, this is the Derby fever question, right? We see it all the time. But I'm sure somebody will point out to John and Jerry Ammerman that the last two years, the, the winner of the Derby came out of this and the runner up last year, which many will say was the best horse in the race last year. Like me. Second. But two fields had excellent dirt, an excellent dirt track record before this race. This was his very first race on synthetic. Uh, he had some good races in Kentucky as a two year old on dirt. But this horse has no dirt form whatsoever.